Nothing can replace human connection. Nothing will be able to take you further, more than to be able to connect with people. It's business. So we will still master plan with this number two. Where we coach and mature our writers to become professionals in real estate marketing, investment and investment services. That will shape your future in commercial real estate marketing. Key financial concept in commercial real estate marketing. And how to communicate effectively and authentically with clients. In this season of pandemic, many are legendary. Tell me the secret. Join the secret. We are talking to you. We entrust you to know that we have built the network team of over 2,000 fully registered consultants. We are working as a close to the world. The good news is this: Sipa has been able to launch our official YouTube channel that will enable us to stream live during our trips in order to reach out to all our workers worldwide. Don't let fear be a limit. Where do you have your destiny? The opportunity you have been waiting for is here. And the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Join us live every Friday on YouTube channel at C Plug Media live stream by 10 a.m. Nigeria time. Make sure you click the subscription button to enable you to get notification messages at all our broken speed. Are you in Lagos? Join us at the training room in the company of other colleagues. If you are in Enugu, visit our office to watch live, us live in the company of other colleagues. If you are in Asaba, visit our office in Asaba to watch us live in the company of other colleagues. My name is Dixon Anishuku. Welcome to Super Profile Limited. We are investing in Um, put your hands together as we make welcome, Mr. Coach Park. Oh, yes. yes, All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, um, I greet every one of you that are here in Lagos State and uh, those watching us in uh, Asaba, Enugu, and those ones that are also on YouTube that have just connected uh, with us. I want to thank God for life and thank God for grace. Today we'll be going straight to business and uh, there's a lot of work to do. I'm telling you, there's a lot of work to do today. And uh, I want to thank God for the last week's training, the one we had the last time also, and the one that was also last week. We thank God for the success. And uh, people are actually closing this here. Those of you that are just joining us, that may not really know what we are doing. <laughs> it's a real estate company and uh, what to do generally is much more on um, real estate marketing we have a particular platform where we give people uh, and we empower them we give them information on how they can be successful with our brand i was together there's people that actually grow with our businesses from other places and that's why you see a topic like this uh, titled the uh, quality of top sales people so if you are working uh, from afar or you're working from uh, within our reach everybody can connect as long as you can connect you can collect and that's just it i just spoke to you guys that are watching i'm right here in lagos they speaking from our studio where we have uh, the class and all that so thanks so much for coming early i was there before many of us anyway so actually is also one of the things that we talk about and uh, i want you all to know that at the end of today's training probably you may start having people understand how to manage sales from another level Thanks to all those that were congratulating uh, me. I'm used to awards. And you know why it happens like that most times? It happens like that because, one, we desire it. I was speaking to some of my colleagues this morning, as at hand after six, when we were discussing. And I said that life will not give you what you want or what you need. Life will only give you what you demand. Mm. So many times you see people that are not doing so well Sometimes it's because they don't demand it. Now listen to this particular part of the Bible I really respect and adore. He said the expectation, I'm not a pastor, please listen first. He <laughs> said the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Now what does it mean? The expectation means what do you expect? There are a lot of people saying that there is no sales and they will keep saying there is no sales. That is why they are not having sales. 
Whereas we are cashing out, having big money, good money, and all that. I would get that. What I'm saying is very critical. Let's not deceive ourselves. This business is very interesting whenever there's money. And the business of real estate is the part that gives you either development for those that are listening to us. So I want to say put it so you can understand what I'm saying. From the area of development, and it can also be on the aspect of marketing. Now we that are here, most of us here are realtors, real estate uh, um, officials and practitioners and all that. These are the things that we should look into really most time. You find a lot of people that looks like they are coming into sales, but don't really know what sales is all about. And that's why you see we look at a topic like this. So I want to welcome every one of you here and those watching us from other places. Those that are also online. Please feel free to comment in the session over there. The last time we had a particular gift for some people, I didn't see their numbers. So probably if you are watching again and you made and you won that last time with charge card and all that and data, those who people wanted to give one dollar with charge card, please put your phone number in the group. Put your phone number in that particular comment session. And I'm pleading with the admin now and the IT department to take your number now because they tried to rewatch it and did not find your number. So you don't say we actually promised and we did not do. We always give out all the things we say. So if you didn't get that glass of that the last time, please go back to the comment section and type your phone number there. Or try and reach out to us at the office so that we can fulfill that particular part. Why am I saying this? Because one of the reasons why people actually fail in life could be some little, little promises they made that they did not fulfill. There are things that I work with that has worked for me. They may not be written in philosophy, all these books that they read them. They are realities. They are just principles and probably, they, mean, they are beyond philosophies. There are things that are not just only godly, or whether they are God or not godly. I'm not being churchy here. But this is what works. Make it happen and all that. And that's why you see most time, I flow with some of these rules. There are many people that actually would have closed more deals, but because they did not understand not everything you say with your mouth. There are sometimes you close it, and sometimes you open it, and there are sometimes you have to be careful who you are saying things to. This is natural realities. I will be communicating all these things as we proceed. So if you are watching for the first time, look at the screen. Who is a salesperson? I've started the class. A salesperson is a salesman or saleswoman. A salesperson is what is a salesman. Can we say salesman? Salesman. Or saleswoman. Say saleswoman. Saleswoman. Can also be referred to as an individual who sells goods and services to the entities. Entities are bodies. You people that buy from you. I'm speaking to salespeople. That's why I'm saying like this. But I'm talking to just people that are advertisers. There are different things. Please, I'm going to break this thing down. Let's I'm trying to be very fast with this particular part so that I can get the plug and explain well. Because I have about 42 slides here. It's really long. If I use one minute, it means I'll spend over an hour. Because I know I will emphasize in one of the. So I don't want to take much more than uh, an hour, 30 minutes in this so that we can tidy up and take session, uh, questions. I want to be realistic with me today. I'll be getting questions both online, other branches. Please post it in the group. Ask questions. I want to treat it. Don't tell me you're not making sales. I told you before. Enough of all these things that you see people saying that they want to train you on how to make sales and they are not making sales. Don't tell me how to make one millionaire when you've never had a millionaire. You will look at some people over there, it's, it's very compulsive, it's always very, very it's always popular. You'll find that in Osho or some other places. You see some men sit down, or you see a lady there, they write five ways to become a billionaire. <laughs> She's selling the book, she's not one. No. <laughs> I'm giving an instance. <laughs> now, what I'm saying that it's not by the book. There are certain rules to these things. Many people have read things they cannot lead. Let's proceed, please. There's no time for talking too much. The successfulness of a salesperson is usually measured by the amount of sales he or she is able to make during a given period. I am very careful of my statement. I say, given period means that there should be a particular period. You have a target, a goal within a particular circle of time. Now, why I'm saying all these things is because we should know that you can't do sales without setting target. I'm coming there, please. Yes, please. And how good that person, I'm reading because of the way it caught it, because of the kind of, the, 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 I think the version with this system is one of the version I used to create it. That's why it's like this. 
So how good that person is in persuading individuals to make in to, to make a purchase? Persuasion. How good? Is it a gift? Some people do not really go to school. They are better. I met data engineer and computer science. Look at me. I'm a national research coach in Nigeria. And by God's grace. <laughs> and then we still keep doing all these things consistently. Even the year we felt that ah, maybe there's COVID, we may not really win much awards. We still got two awards. <laughs> so there's nothing that can change all these things because of what? These are the realities. Let's look at this again. Before I leave to the next slide, let me break something down. Let me make it let me understand something. Sales is part of life. Every day, one is at one is expected to make sales. Now, sales is what? Is actually what a process. And it's a problem what, 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 to sell a good or services. But listen to this. Today I'll be adding something to it that I've never added. Apart from goods and services, there's one more thing that we don't really take note of. And that is why they don't really have sales. I'm going to the next slide. Go time. Now when we talk about sales, everything <laughs> comes back to product or services. Or both. But there's one that is very important than these two. Why is it that upon how I have a very nice product, I can speak well? Eh? And then sometimes you look as if I don't be concerned about how I speak. And I go back to just having good dry land, fenced land, gated, everything, but no sales. Look at it. The reason is because they have not considered something that is very critical. And that thing I'm going to be explaining in the next slide. But before I proceed, I want to ask you how many of you. Are planning a career in sales. Like, can I see your hands? Uh, now, if you would like, you know what I'm talking about. Career in sales. If you are not planning a career in sales, you cannot be among the top sales people. That means you are not supposed to be here. You are talking about what? How to keep winning, being a success. You know, success is actually referred to as the what? The enemy of success. For every time someone tries to be successful and is very successful, you will find out later that. Maintaining it is another thing that's like so, e not so easy. It is one thing to be successful, it's another thing to what? Keep being successful. It is one thing to close a deal, and the next one to keep closing deals. I used to close this, it's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Did you close this one? Have you closed anyone within the last three months? I'm going to instance. Because people always say, sales, no day, sales, no day. At least you said monthly, one. Because it means that you didn't make a one sale anymore. That means you didn't make a maybe you didn't make any move or you didn't have that uh, you didn't do the right thing or you were selling the wrong thing and all that. So all of these are very, very important. Let's let's proceed of time. I said anything that is less than 100 percent shows that show of ends is not acceptable. Which means it was permitted that you tell them to go out of the class. Or they should stop watching. Because this is actually made for people that want to make sales. Look at it. When you ask a woman, will you marry me? That's a lady. And she says, yes, you just close the deal. Right? And that is like sales on that particular part in the aspect of what? Prospecting. I go together. So everyone does sales, but don't really know that this is sales. And that is why when they start undermining what sales is all about, things begin to go down. Whatever you appreciate will definitely keep going up. Look at it. Whatever you have no value for, you have no access to. So it means that there is need to start looking into the aspect of what value. Let's proceed because of time. Selling your self. Look at this, very critical. <laughs> Look. Everybody wants to sell the estate. Everybody wants to sell what? The service, allocation, everything. But how many people are thinking about what? Selling their self. Because people buy people. Before the product, walk into my office and tell me that you want to sell me a land, and you just decide to say that heaven will help me, God will help me, and you came there the way you like. I may not buy because of the way you look or the way you came, and it's beyond just even the dressing at times. I'm trying to break something down. Let us understand this thing. I think we should have a little of, so that there will not be much noise because it's a bit psychological. Many reasons why people do not succeed in sales can also be as a result of this particular neglect. So they've neglected the part of sales, personal salesmanship. You, mm, you don't understand. Meaning that when you stop, when you start selling only products, product, 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 product service, there will be a time 
you may be having issues now watch are you aware there are some people that are really better in real estate coaching that are not known now what happened Did you get her? So you see somebody again, is okay. This guy, we see this guy, he's very rich, wealthy, he's okay. Don't you think this guy is richer than Adam Gote self? But where is he? Does he? Because he cannot explain how the wealth came. There's no need to tell you how rich. Now, why do some people keep winning? Why is it that some people keep closing these? Whether they are closing, they are not closing, they just come out and say, like me, I saw two plus. They are saying it. <laughs> they are just explaining, they are so positive, too much. They are speaking as if it's authority. When they are talking to a client, they are not making it as if they are forced safe. Imagine one of my mentors, so this time I was talking to a client, making it over, and I was there. Let me even do the talking, he was taking it up. And then making it over as if this is the first client of the company. You see that? Yeah, we, there are ways to manage this. Please, let's proceed. Look at it. I don't care what career path you are on. The reality is that you must sell yourself before you sell your skills. I am talking about personal, about how others see you as a human being. I choose to call it personal salesmanship. Listen to me, sir. And ma. I may be very good in trainings and in practicals. Yes, I've won so many awards, about 43. In Nigeria. Yeah. Now, but look at this. For instance, in all of these awards and all that, I may have felt I have gotten name. I start feeling big. But look at this. A time may come if I'm not careful. If I start managing that way, I feel like I've arrived. You find out that someone will just come all of a sudden. He's just there. You don't begin to wonder how you got there. Look at the game. Now, look at this another part of the game. I can also be very, very okay. And that's okay, I'm so good, no problem. They are not doing a Zoom training for everybody, any one of us. I said, okay, they don't even matter myself, Jare. Let me do the training for them. And I wear singlets. Or I just put, I just wear my body like this, like Brother Shaggy, my friend. <laughs> it's a sermon. I start doing the training. Before you see, some people start seeing as what? Um, An unserious class. Ah, someone say it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It matters, seriously. The kind of shoe you wore there. <laughs> the kind of way you walked there, what you did at the front of the door, because some people have camera. You got there, you spend one minute, you are doing like this, bringing up, showing your breast. You would have done all this before you got there. These are critical areas. I know what I'm saying. This is very important. Let's proceed. Look at this. Who would you hire in this two stop? Those are actually watching from other states, please look at this. And uh, those are actually watching online from YouTube. I send it to so many of you over there. Also on my Facebook. Let's look at this now. Who would you hire? Joe has four GPA. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's slug. Also, is what? A slug. Is what? Slugling. Consistent and slowly, and then it doesn't what? Bet too frequently. Oh. And has no friends. Yet his grades are oh. tops. Now look at the next one. Bill has what? Three, Three GPA. Is what? Fascinable. Yeah. Well liked. Outgoing. A good listener and enjoy working with others and he base frequently. Who will you choose to work with you? Yeah. Now the thing is that it's not about certificate yeah. but certificate. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that is understanding how to manage yourself, who you are. That is why you find people that are not having much grades. Because stop this thing that we are always saying. Uh, why the uh, what is you, you say why the bad things happen to good people? You say that. Because the bad guys knows what to do. <laughs> he dress well when there's need. Ah, this lady, she used to be my friend. I was there when she committed five abortions. You were saying it, but she had twins twice. What happened? <laughs> you that did everything nice, now you never marry. <laughs> what happened? They are principles. She knows the right perfume to use, she knows the club. She knows who to meet. I, I would, this is very sensitive. People are becoming too holy for success. And this is the reality. When you are too spiritual for success, you will go down. So don't ask me why sometimes I dress the way I dress. I become as if when I'm a Christian, but that's not your business. I flow with whoever is available. 
you have to be like that. Let's proceed back to this place. So these are sensitive, sensitive areas to look into. When it comes to sales, let's proceed because I still have a lot of things to explain. What makes a good salesperson? If I go to the seven key points, what makes them? Ability to what? Listen. I took this material to talk to this man in the office and I'm just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and all that. Without understanding that uh, what this man is saying, he's saying something different from what I'm saying. I was speaking to a client. We were in the vehicle together with my partner, the media uh, manager himself. And then what happened? It happened that when he got to a particular level, I was talking to this man on the phone. The man said, I told him about the land. He said he has something that he wants, he wants to buy land. What came to my mind that he would buy what? Affordable lands. But that was not true. You were there too. When one man told me that can, I'm not looking for dry land, can I get land that are matchy water? So it means that some people are marketing some wrong things. That's why they're not closing this. The client do not want to buy the land of 800k. He said as long as it is below 1 million, it is calm. Don't tell me that. Give me good land. 5 million, but let me hear the good land. And what do I have to do? I have to start looking for exactly what he needed. If I was selling all the 800k land, 1 million, all of them, all those, I would tell everything, no matter how wonderful they may appear to look. Because his mind is that these lands are not really genuine, they are gambling with my money. He will not buy. So there's a need to do a little research to those So you cannot know that thing until what? You listen. Go and ask those that are successful in marriage. They listened. I was in the car this morning where somebody, I think people that were in the car had when my wife was praying for me. Do you think I don't know what to do or to act some things? <laughs> you listen. <laughs> there are ways to make, to do what you want to do that's in your mind in a such a way that the person does not even know that it is your mind she just did. <laughs> she felt it was her own idea. She's feeling like a king. <laughs> but at the same time, you got what? Listening. You cannot approach something that you don't listen. A good salesperson needs to satisfy clients' needs. Number two, empathy. A good salesperson knows how to feel what the customers feel. It's not selling. We have been doing digital marketing, digital marketing. We are good at that. Facebook, we don't do them. Instagram, everything, no problem. The client will come. But when it's now time to go and do presentation, what will happen now? The kind of picture on your WhatsApp is showing that you are an area boy. These are sensitive areas. You snap picture on Facebook with face marks. I told you to remove it. It's not allowed. It's good to use face in the road. It's not, you use outside. See, I'm, I'm a bit far from you. Where well, I'm not using the mask. But look at this area. In the scenario now that you want to build a profile online, how will you go and start snapping with face marks? They, you think it's anybody? The marks is recovery. Watch, watch. Empathy. You can't feel what this person is saying because why? You don't have that mind. And what are these things? Very sensitive. You have to know how to. So, okay. You have to learn to be an actor. Even if you don't. Even when I'm talking about, so, oh. Mm, 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 mm. True, true, true. One guy was talking to me. What they were saying was nonsense. Yeah. Really, really. Yes, I think, I think you are right there. I saw some. But you know what? This one is very. I didn't see anyone. I just wanted to just agree with him. Talk to your husband, for instance, or your wife. And you don't like Every other thing you say is not listening to him because what? You did not give him attention before. <laughs> but whether she's saying no, she's saying, hmm. It's true, it's true. Okay, you know what? Mm, okay, relax. You know, we won't do it today. It will be next week. You have changed our mind. Because we were listening to her at that time. And you have empathy. You're feeling what is feeling. Oh, I, I feel as if I just want to go to the to the store, to the zoo, see some animals, to drive to the zoo, put my clothes, and begin to dance in the air. She's saying everything. So oh, really, that's a nice one. I said, but honey, I don't think we can go today. Mm, you know what? Let's go like um uh, I'm gonna tell, I'll give you a day, I'll go, I'm gonna go. I'll, when I come back, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you where we're going. Say so really I have a surprise. You may not have anything. But the client wants to buy a land and he's telling you so many things. He said, I've been duped before, I've been that. Forget selling. See what you should do. Look at his face. You mean you've been took the land. 
please, sir, please leave the land, land. Can I finish with this matter? Tell me where you bought the land. Start being past, personalizing the, that relationship. Say, sir, you say, what about the land you came? Don't worry about that, sir. Let us fix this one. When you live there, <laughs> you're imagining who you are. Sir, this person is not just interested in just selling, no. This guy wanted to help me out. I was gonna, he's very sensitive. Hunger! Doesn't mean you should go and start fasting and praying. Listen, you need to eat good food to do well in marketing. <laughs> so you're not gonna fall down <laughs> for any small pushing. Ah, let me explain. <laughs> we didn't take place one day in one of the companies. That's how this guy was running downstairs. I see Patrick was running downstairs to go and help uh, one of the clients to uh, bring him upstairs. That's how he hit this guy. This guy don't like. We just <laughs> turn it, turn it, turn it long, turn long like I. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought that guy is a pastor. He was fasting for three days. Why did you come there? <laughs> I will just be telling him what if he has felt that. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that what? It's not that kind of hunger. This one is what? Ah, listen to this scripture. Blessed are those that thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Yes. <laughs> so it means that if you don't hunger for it, you can't have it. What is hunger? Thirst. What is righteousness? Right choice that move you to your next level. Oh, yeah. So, hunger, because these folks are always what, in need to sell that goes beyond the money. Fine, the business of what? Of what, The language of business what? Is money. I know. But it should be as if this is something that is in you. I love to sell anything. That is why I was able to what, be successful in Pondo Yam as a branch manager. I could sell Pondo Yam, enter this, I could sell it. Cafe, everything I could sell, plant into real estate. So I become a salesperson. It's very critical. What makes a good salesperson? You got a hunger. You get a task after what? Sales. Wake up in the morning and imagine the right things. Channel your, your vibes towards positivity. People used to say, okay, well, ah, what if the client didn't buy now? And I'm going to go and tell this, but I'm going to give him my, my, the house rent this evening. Why don't change your mind and say, what if you buy 30, buy too many? Just begin to think opposite. Ah, because I love that scripture, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. It is what you expect that you will inspect. And it is after all these things have been put in place in your mindset, that's what can determine who you are. Let me explain. Because your mindset determines your sunset. If your mindset is not well inclined with success, there is every tendency that you may be down. It's very critical. If mommy, daddy, everybody in the house are saying that everything is upside down, Nigeria are bad, wait, wait. And they are all saying Nigeria jaga jaga, or Africa is bad. As long as we have agreed, <laughs> it will become like that. Bible said if two or three shall agree as touching a thing, shall what come to pass. So it means if you agree on negativity, who joined you to market that client? He did not believe that you will make sales. He doesn't need to join you again. You have to be careful who followed you there. This is very critical. Because I'm very careful of the people that are in my team. If you are always discussing poverty, poverty too much, I think I need to leave this guy. Everything about him is poverty. They don't discuss about good cars, good houses, but how we can do. You are not making sense, man. With time, if I'm not careful, I will become like you. That is why stop some kind of mentality. I'm telling you, there are some houses that I've stopped visiting. I need to start seeing good houses because it is what you see that you have. It's very, very important. These are, very, these are realities. Let's go to competitiveness. Enjoy measuring their skills in, with your pace. Okay. Competition. Wow, this guy made sales, four plus. Oh, we good of him. I'm motivated. I'm following him. Let me ask questions from him. He's not going to Babalawa and go and kill him. Nigeria mentality. Very bad attitude. This guy is made serious state. You have not even made one. Say, no, I want to kill this guy. <laughs> why well, I well, make you? Does not mean cutting his neck. He may be telling someone that that guy is a bad guy. Please don't be buying for him again. He's very sensitive. And the thing you speak against, you can never be up to it. There's no much time. Next slide. I'm just in number ah number nine, and I'm still going for the two. Act very fast. Networking ability. This is just nine. Six here, nine. Networking ability. Can you network? Listen to this story of mine. The opposite of network is not work. Whatever is not networking is not working. Networking is what? Simply relating with people, connecting with mind. 
And if you fail to connect, you cannot collect. So it is the people you relate with most time, the way you will connect with people that will tell me how successful they are going to become. Let me take for instance now. I have a lot of people that are with me. I respect so much about elders, men, women, mature people. I look at them. They, they look at me. I live it on the grace upon their head. Sometimes I meet them. I just talk. what you see. She, he can connect me. Mama connected me to one day. One other woman it was a mama about sixty something years. I met her somewhere. She just told me, say, on my what do they do? I just told her, say, hey, really? I go tell my, uh, I'll give her my own number. I called Job, Job, they, he called, they, he, was, he was just speaking pidgin English. He did, uh, they go to uh, Canada. So he was telling me everything about uh, and all that. And after they got me, that guy, who bought some land, who told me about his, all his fellow friends. And after they started, what? Buying, leverage on what? The woman. And that's what? Networking. If you have a mindset of saying that, I like to be on my own, listen to yourself. You will be on your own. Sales do not like people that are on their own. Yes, sir. Sales only work with people that love networking. Okay. Enthusiasm is so successful. Successful salesman is what? Always what? Motivated. And David encouraged himself in the law. Even when everything looks as if it's upside down, you gotta encourage yourself. Man, okay, I think everything is gonna be fine. You just have to believe. Because only those that believe that can achieve. There's no much time. Resilience. Top earners know how to bounce back from a death from a dry spell. Why spell? Why am I putting these words? People are saying it too much. Ah, the way you are saying this, they said, ah, in the old of December, oh, they don't sell low. Oh. People are keeping their money. Someone is telling you that, ah, in the old of December, people are coming home, they will go buy land, they will buy land. Because of the mentality. Let me explain something to you psychologically. Are you aware that if you sit down like this and say, okay, the way I'm looking at this place now, there will be traffic when I'm going back home. And you're just saying it. If you have phantom and all of us agree it, eh? do you know all of us can cause the problem? Automatically, there will not be traffic. Because we said it. Even if there was no traffic before, they will track it when you are passing. Or when the road is moving, you will think there's traffic. It's a mentality. This is very creative. This is very, very sensitive. And I'm very careful with it. Ah, ah, ah. Top owners know how to bounce back from a dry spell. This statement. They don't get discouraged when the sales numbers are down. Because you sold last month, or let's say you sold in January, and because of the COVID, you've not made any sale, for instance. Let me give you an instance. You've not made any sale. And it happens that now you've missed, you have still not what, done what? Sales. And you know what? If you check very well, it can be as a result of certain things that you may have said before. Saying that, well, as if this period there's no sales. Even other companies are still where they open their shop. No sales to their sales. Who told you? No sales there. Mm, it's why we're all the same. That's Nigerian mentality. Let me explain the mentality for you. One of my friends who's a commander, I always say it. He said, whenever they take light, I was telling somebody earlier, when they take light, Nigerian will just look through the window. Very nice. I love them all. They'll look through the window. Now, everybody. Okay, now everybody. General. General. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the only one, what happened now? So the you go to my say, ah, uh, well, I get light. <laughs> You're not getting light. It happens, so the mentality is not good. <laughs> it's not good. My name is Dixon Onochu. By the grace of God, I am the managing director of Sigma Profile Limited which is otherwise known as your investment house. It's a real estate company with development project across the real estate spectrum. Our current estates on sale are Vatican Garden Estate Fish 2 as a Delta. The estate in Asaba is located behind Asaba Airport and beside immigration office, uh, Ibozo, Stroke Asaba. It is selling at a promo price of 1.5 million naira per plot. And the promo will end on the 31st of July 2020. Vatican Garden Estate, Enugu, is located at Obago, Okanano, beside Centenary City. And is selling its neighborhood in other estates like Jedidaya. Diaspora estate and many other upcoming estate, and it is selling at a price of 5.5 million naira. All our 
Minister will feature solid parameter fencing, broad network, underground cap, between ages, system security network, street light, and the recreational center. Why should you invest into this our estate? Because they have a fantastic return on investment. The excellent location they have, the excellent facilities that we have, has a good title. They are also free from government and position. And you have freedom of choice on building design you can put up. We don't have to dictate for you. The secret is that you need to find out where the people are going. And you go there and buy the land and wait before they get there. That is how many that have become very rich in real estate today were able to get there. Now you don't need to wait to buy land. You buy real estate land and wait. Don't get discouraged. So my question is, who are you, truly? You need to search yourself. There are some times you need to search yourself. Well, I'm not paid to be a pastor, and I'm not one. I don't think I will ever be one, because where I'm one, okay. But I know I always love God. Who really are you? Check very well, most times. Because I still have the same question here. They say, who are you? It's very sensitive. You need to ask yourself. Look at that. Who really are you? Who are you in skills? You are complaining of says, no says, no says. What have you done about it, personally? The woman is complaining that, ah, things are not working very fine. What did he do? The man is saying that, in my family, everybody are all poor. So, there's nothing we can do. The thing is that that man has actually just done something like I call your background. When your background is like that, doesn't mean that because of your background, your back must be on the ground. Very sensitive. So, look at it. so who are you really? Are you this person that is excited? Are you a bit the watcher? Are you the one that just look? Watch things happen. I want to make things happen. Yeah, or you're the one that asks questions. Or you're the one that leads. You need to check. Choose where you are so I don't get confused. Because if you don't know where you are going, everywhere will look like it. It's, I'm telling you, reality. That's something I had to learn. I had set target, I was going to get married this time. I'm going to be father so time. I've said everything. I've said target, I'm going to retire so time. I'm going to have this farm. This cassava farm would have been built to this level. This farm, can I cannot do cocoa. Then later I'll be here. Then I'll have a small hut. I've thought of everything. And guess what? The Bible said, write it down. I wrote, wrote it down somewhere. The one I have not written, I start saying, okay, let me edit it away. It's like a manuscript. It's very sensitive. Please let's look at this quickly. Who are you, really? Check it out. Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Who are you? Look at it also. Are you someone that thinks? Or you love people? You can't put for mind. Maybe I've not made sense because they can't put for mind. Do you know that if you actually keep malice with people, you can actually stop yourselves. They may not preach it anywhere. But I could spark. I would say it. Because when you hold a man down, what of us still they the same? Yes. Down the same place now. <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> They picking that say, eh, my mom no go sleep. All of us not they sleep, man. <laughs> so, of what use? That's why I love this passage. Follow peace with all men. I don't care what anybody is saying. I try to maintain peace. Because I don't know who is who. Because there are people that are available on earth who are a kind of God. You may not know. Who have grace that are very dangerous. They will not speak. Ah, why you talking? So, things will not be well. You just things will not be well for you. <laughs> you gotta fix it somewhere, man. Let's balance life. Reality. This is very sensitive. I'm always taking my life very serious because of all this stuff. Are you the one that, is, that thinks you, uh, you get information? In, uh, you always inspire. Okay. What if I just go to this church today? I'll just meet uh, Mr. Was Mr. Uh, okay, of you. This is okay. I can meet him and tell him about this product. The later I will talk to him. You have an you have an idea, but just say when you want to go to church again, you forgot the flyers. This is the only me that's in that church said that we won't test about real estate. Everybody used to drive real estate cars then. In fact, the way this business is, everybody's real estate. <laughs> then you have to leave the church. You have to change your church if everybody in that church is real estate already. <laughs> let's let's be real. There are people that have to start changing their churches. Try another church. Because, <laughs> oh, this thing I'm saying is real. Though. That is how one of my guys, he's close to me, that I call him my guys. He, he was staying somewhere in Lakwe. You know the place? Lakwe is after Abidjo. Uh, we are here. 
Now, there's this particular place we were staying, I was paying uh, 70 k every year. The owner would chase him out of that place. And he calls himself a deacon or a minister in one church. Then he attended one training. And I said, he's actually a sales culture. That's the class, the class, the class the sales culture and a uh, 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 antidote to something anti sales people. I can't forget, I can't even remember the topic like that again. But it was a topic I actually taught. So I was talking to that and I said, do you know that some of us should change our churches? Then I said, for instance, talk to me about your personal experiences. We had a meeting after the class. We had seen me one, of, one after the other. Then this guy told me that anything I want to share flyers, because I was teaching about so traditional marketing under it too. So he said, anything I want to share flyers, they will tell him that they don't share flyers in this church. And pastor too will not help him to tell someone to buy the, the flyer and all that thing. So what then do we now do? What is going on? We all remain the same level and we are all poor. I said, okay. What if we try something like this? Because your house is going to be due next week. And the man I've already been telling you since two, two months ago. They gave you all it next week. Do something about this thing. What can you do now? I say, what if you try to change the kind of locality you have? Go to another church just for that Sunday. Try them. He tried it. He said, he blessed like the church fine and sweet. Though. He said, I never see this kind of church before. He went to one church. I don't want to mention another church. He went there. Next week again. When they finished service, we were just sharing flyers because we were already playing with the security. Everybody we were all flowing. And at the end of the day, he sold three plots. Now, that three plots that he sold, they gave him about 600K. Now, he was able, in that last way, I can remember his story very well, to rent a house about 180K, which is 120 every year. And then he used the remaining money to do shop. That's why he started rice and beans business in Lakwe. What am I saying? If you fail to relocate from your wrong location, you will suffocate. There are times you need to move or change things. I said they won't change. I'm not saying that it was. You can go back to the church. There was a church I was worshiping in. I know the parish very well. It was an area quarter before I left there. I, my brother, I played the keyboard, the instrument. My brother plays the drum, and my sister sings. For the family, and look at it, we are so much in that church. Now I wanted to go to school. They were not advising me that why did I school in Lagos because of the church. <laughs> I said, good idea, good idea. I was almost thinking about it. And I remember one day, who church help now? Please, oh, this is my life here. And I left them. They were angry. I went there, go and school in Ilori and Abuja. I said, no problem. And I came back one day. They were not saying, hey, how you doing? Welcome, oh, how's everything? I used to see you on uh, your radio program that you are doing in uh, Soso FM and all that. I said, thank God, though. They still accepted me. Now, let me explain what to you what happened there. It means that <coughs> if you take all the advice people say about you, that may look as if they are good advice, sometimes you may end up poor. Yeah. And if you are poor, they will talk about you. Yes. If you don't do anything, they will talk about you. Yes. See what they will say about me. You say, look at this guy here. And he called himself a Christian. He's just here. He doesn't even have sense. <laughs> Nobody will say about me. <laughs> so sometimes you need to sit down and ask yourself, please, oh, this is this a serious matter, man. Only please sit down here. Let's talk about this thing. For goodness sake, all the children will get my one that we are going to be all together and stay here together. Can we discuss this thing quickly? And understand where we are going here. Realities. <laughs> Everybody will come. They will go. <laughs> Even the children. Who <laughs> old you when you are old? These are realities. We are smart now, right? There is an old age. And how I learned that thing was before I got married. When I saw one day an old man and an old woman, they were just crossing with umbrella, walking on the road. I said, These two were most couples. The love was real. <laughs> so I just imagine how old they look like. Now, what am I trying to say? Most of the times that people are telling you are not doing sales or successful, it's because of little things they are not observing. So now you need to check what happens around you, who around you, who is whenever this person appears, it's when things are not okay. Be very careful. Whenever they appear, things are okay. You need to start being careful, check. So that you know, okay, this is not working, this is not okay. Oh, this is what happened today. And whenever this person calls me, I have this problem. You gotta be very careful and smart. Because it affects one's sales. Why are some salespeople so successful? 20% of the salespeople make 80% of the sales at 80% of the commissions. 10% of the salespeople open 80% of the of new accounts and they are called sales hunters. The top 10% sales professional today earn five times and all. These are just little, little uh, stuff I actually got online. Let's go to the other part. 
Let's look at the truth of this. Why are some sales people so successful? Number one is what? They sell the product people want, not the one you have. If you must make a client buy what you have, then you must paint it in such a way that it looks like what you want. Let me explain. I was teaching in Lawry because I used to champion the Bagla Fellowship when I was in school. Then I said, okay, let me teach you about sin. Because S-I-M is simple instruction neglected. Yeah. Now look at this now. If I bring two guns, this is Gouda. This is Coke. They look alike. And I said, okay, bring me a Coke container. They brought a Coke container for me. And I poured the Gouda inside the Coke. And I put it down. I said, you guys, you guys look at this too now. Which one do you want? Say, I want any one. But look at it now. Do you know this is actually Gouda? He said, ah, we didn't know. Why? Because you guys were actually, I'm facing here. You are facing this way. You're not seeing what I did. The soul, I painted it in such a way that you can appreciate it. That's how sin looks like. But look at it. What I'm saying here is that the client wants a land that is dry. Fence, get it. So when the client is asking those questions, if you have something like that, or that looks like it, then you get it communicated in that way he asked. Not the way the company told you. Sometimes they will put all this in, they will put introduce in sandy, dry land, ocean view. Please, sometimes you may have to remove those things, change it the way the client you are talking to want it. Because I'm telling you, a lady will tell you that I want a man that is really rich, has six pack, and uh, he knows how to play football. Now look at it. And then you not come over there, and then that's okay, but he also wants to be God fearing. Then you yourself now go and meet the lady. Then that like, I'm very God fearing and God will be so faithful and you keep the rest, which are the main thing in your mind. She won't accept you. <laughs> Even if you have everything. Yeah, okay, this one not made what I want. <laughs> but it's okay, I, I love football so much and my 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 club is Asna because you have found that she's wearing Asna t shirt. Yeah, it's easy. You're entering. You have to be very fast with what the person wants. And how will you know? By listening. That's why those that want to learn how to toast a lady, allow her to talk more whenever you meet her the first date. <laughs> Just ask a few questions. Then I keep talking. She keep talking. Keep listening. You begin to get some things she did. She will tell you everything. <laughs> You'll be having an idea of how to go about, okay, this person is this kind of person. Okay, that means I cannot go and see her father this particular time. She wants me to go that same day with my people and her, fa my, her father will be around. And he must not tell anybody. Okay, this is how she is. Then you use that method. So it's a study, it's a research. I would say that this is very sensitive. Clients are like that. These clients do not like too many men around. You observe it the other day that he was admiring the ladies that came. Then what do you do when you are going for the work? He thought you carry ladies along. Beautiful words. Rent some if it's possible. Yeah. I'm telling you, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's just go. Only you, the man, all of them carry the babies. You can't tell you to get out of the office because they like women. I have an uncle like that. I also say it. He likes fair ladies. He likes anything fair. He's a black lady, that's a black lady again, a woman that likes any person that is actually is huge. The hair is showing. He doesn't like anybody that dressed too nice. How do we do it now? Simple thing. I carry this guy who is hefty, very nice guy. We're going, there's one doing talking and his hair was showing. That's how. For if I go there with a tie and suit, he won't listen, he won't listen to me. So I enjoy the matter already. I say, okay, I think I like, I like the way you said it. I like the way you said it. So where then is the estate again? It's asking that guy, not me. Because that guy is one that have what he wants. <laughs> it's very important too, very critical. You need to care, check the clients very well. Look at it again. They convince people they want. Try your best to convince them. How do you convince people again? Look at one secret I use. Sometimes you need to be a bit prayerful. If you are not even prayerful, a bit, a bit. Let me explain. Why don't you, you know the name of the client already. Ask God, Father, please plant in the mind of this guy good things about me. One. Plant in this man's mind good dreams about the land he saw. And the ones he wants to see. Make him begin to dream. You can pay people to dream a dream. You know if I agree in my mind now that this lady should dream something about me seriously and I'm praying, she will dream before the end of, before, before tomorrow morning. <laughs> a client took one of our relatives to sight. And the clients, they enjoy the life. You know they love the land. They are going to pay on Monday. Six blocks. 
thousand acre. Only for the client to dream that the guy he took to the land was pushing with the cutlass on the land. <laughs> now I could ask a question: If you were the one, will you buy the land? No. Oh. How did I know? Second, because we have our own normal. I say, I have one of these guys now. I say, wait, 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 what happened now? That's what I say. That land, that guy won't kill me. And what happened? See? See, God, I, I, I was one in I had a dream that that guy was actually pushing with the cutlass. You can't believe me on that land that he showed me that last week. Say, ah, please, don't buy. I joined. <coughs> you know what? He has had a dream. Manipulated. Some people that, that closed deals did not close them because of manipulation. A man wants to marry a lady. He loves her so much. In fact, God told him. But after a dream that he saw he was pressing the father neck, holding the father neck like this, what happened? <laughs> Will you marry again? No! <laughs> hey, they say it doesn't matter. No problem. It happens in Africa. Kids are watching. It happens. And I've seen foreign movies that those things happen too. But how that happens on that? It could be mentality, it could be, it could be fear, anything. Things can actually make that thing happen most times. You can be phantoming somebody and then you start dreaming about the place that you got married to him. When I got married, four people told me that they actually, I got married to them. That, we, that they saw us, we were wedding gown, and also, we were all together. I have seen them. They told me that we were, when I, we were together. So what made them dream that dream? I don't know. It's a confusion there. <laughs> I can go tell you to my four people. Where is that? <laughs> Ma? <laughs> Daddy, is that what's up? So, so all of this is actually manipulated. Some of these things does. So we need direction. They know the products they have to sell. How many people know what they want to sell? Let's be truthful. Do you really know where Vatican Estate is? Let's be realistic. Do you know the name of the estate? You call it Vatican or Vatican. There are two different things. We were selling an estate one day and it was Victoria Estate. And someone was selling it as Victory Estate. There are two different things. It's at the back of ShopRite. It's not the same as it's in the front of ShopRite. These are very sensitive areas to know your product knowledge. Number 13. Who do you think are the top earners in the big name consulting firm? Let's look at this question together. Look at the screen. There's an E here for this. This is D. Those with the 3.9 GPs, GPAs, or those who bring in the most new clients. Who are the people that are calling what? Doing well. These guys. Yes. Is it by having this? Enough of all these too much things. This is important. No problem. I know. But go and look at it in my we finish together. We call of a most of us finish together. Some of them have masters. Fast two masters. Self. Where are they? No, where no where the stress is stuff now. So, most of them. They don't know. They don't they are not hard. Why? Because they've neglected what? Skill. So when we say trains are like this are going on, they are not just for okay, nah, they are for skill purpose. Tell us to lend them. Sometimes I used to wonder, what if there's no real estate? What will I do? I think. Don't forget, I was also successful also in the, in the IT world. I grew from there. Enter Pondo, I was still doing well. Branch manager, hard boss, and uh, supply Pondo, and markets. I was going everywhere. Enter down again. I said, okay, what can I do again? Can I so? I am always thinking, what if there's no job at all? I play instrument, and a church can pay me 200000 there. If I want, was paying me 180k monthly. So I can't get broke. I built structure at the beginning. So I was ready never to be broke in life. <laughs> Without that one, even in school, I could do software stuff. Project, I was just making money. So I just had hustle mentality. This is very critical. These are the things that actually determine sources, not this. It's good to have grades. But it's better to have grades. <laughs> Let's go to the road. 80% of sales sources is what? Psychological. How do you think about it? Because I'm about entering into our main topic now. That will not take us to the end of the part of it. How do you think about it? Those watching, do you feel that the estate, the too far, well, you said it's so far. <laughs> that is why <laughs> it's been far to the clients that come there. Because you let the client to be talking alone. If you allow him to be talk, sometimes just discuss with him. How is it going? How is the family like? How is it like? Have you ever bought real estate before? Be talking to you, get to the estate. You will know it's not far. 
Talk to me, sir. There are some people I had one thing. What do you think about? I need your advice. Say, hey, you need my advice. Okay, let's talk. I was together. It's very sensitive. It's very, it's very sensitive. I'm using the word sensitive today more because of these are like, serious areas. Top sales people are optimists. They have a positive mental attitude. Very positive. I am I am number one positive person on earth. I feel so. You know why? Because I was doing my wedding. And the God of glad telling that ah, you know, I see that. Are we gonna do this thing? Ah, can you ah, this thing is too much of these millions of naira? How do we do it? I said, don't worry. <laughs> it will be done. It will be done, it will be done. It is that day I paid some things. <laughs> You got the word? Positivity. I'm doing a program somewhere and then I don't know anybody. And I said the hall we filled up. <laughs> uh, coach, which one are you doing? Do you always do jazz in this uh, before you come? <laughs> I'm positive. And listen to this thing. Positivity begat creativity. Anyone that is negative cannot be creative. So I'm pleading with us, the whole humility, let us learn to be positive. Very sensitive. What is optimism? It's hopefulness. Let's go there before we go here. Optimism is hopefulness. You have hope. You just believe. Now look at this one. Anything that is full, that's someone is beautiful, means what? Full of beauty. So hopefulness is what? Full of what? Hope. Now moving to what? The next level. Then when you are full of something, you move to the next level. So hopefulness. And what? Confidence. About the future or the success of what something so i'm hopeful i cannot attend this training finish that digital marketing and i don't have sales i have to have sales i believe i will have sales you are just so positive without to move anything most of the just try to tell you that okay so you're just trying to make your mind feel as if it's as if uh, it's as if i should just it's done on me this calling this feeling is not my calling on no. tell you again get deep behind me <laughs> i'm hopeful <laughs> I will make sales. Do something. But every time you are negative or you are not hopeful, what it does to you is that it crumbles your testimony. It makes you not be able to get something. If you are scared too much, things that will make you be fearful will be happening to you. Faith comes by hearing and fear comes by hearing. So I'm careful of what I hear. So I'll give ear to what is right. Hey, they just kiss some people now. They are dying seriously over there. Ah, ah, please, I won't watch. If I know, I can't manage it. That day, they said they were bomb blast. Those days, when we were still in Mafalu Koshori, when I was still younger. Yeah. We were running up and down. Do you know what they said is bomb blast? Someone told us that uh, Papa Sula was uh, bringing war. That uh, someone told me that they have already shot some guns. Some people are dead already at the you know, bus stop. And they have already come to uh, a black bar. They are entering into Papa That Something serious is happening in this country. That the world has ended. <laughs> I was taking my bath. I said, uh, I said, it's no need for me to bath again. Like, so all of us will die. <laughs> yeah, this that. That was the mentality. And guess what? He started making me feel as if, what are we going to do last? So let us get us. Let us just pray. Now that the world has ended. <laughs> that was years back. Some people believe that kind of, the, the world is coming. Like Jesus Christ is coming, or uh, maybe God wants to end the world. You are believing all those things. At the end of the day, it's not about what happened at the end of the day. It's about what they did during that period. They sold everything. They gave their everything. Even if it's coming, can't he meet me as a rich man? <laughs> Nobody is permitted to die here until you own a land. Please take note. And you should have one in Jesus' name. Optimism is a result or effect of the seven key qualities. That leads us to our topic. So seven key qualities. Number one, ambition. you gotta be ambitious. If someone that is ambitious, I've started the class now. These are the, this is the core part of the class. So after this one, then we enter into the last class. So I have about 15 there about minutes. They're ambitious. There's one between ambitious and what? Vision. Yes, it's good to have vision in life. But you need to be ambitious too. It is only those that are ambitious that wins the award. It's only those that are ambitious that want to get up and start imagining what can I do. They learn it. Ambitious. What can I do now? Oh, this fan looks like this. What can I do to make this fan better than this? Or can I do something similar to this fan? You want to create something. Ambitious. Look at the further explanation. What's ambition? A strong desire to gain a what? 
a particular what? objective, specifically the drive to succeed, to gain what? Fame, popular, power, wealth. I've always been like that. Today I bounced a particular stuff because I wanted to change the money that they used to pay me of 500k to 1.5 million. They cannot afford it, get out of my desk. I had to change it because I needed wealth. Power, I'm flowing already. That's why I'm always interested in it. They will always give me that award, tell you that you want to accept it, trust will put you in the nomination list and all that. You'll be nominated. They will check, check. If you say no, they won't put you there. Some people don't like to be announced. Why? Well, I love it because of what I want fame and money. And then guess what? Power. So don't ask me why am I joining a uh, police? Yes, because someone that guy was telling me that he saw me in the police uh, this thing and I was filling one form. Yes, to be a member. I have my reasons. After I've been going out with some of these people, some of these people there, and I said, okay, let me build security for myself too. So don't ask me why I joined. So when you see me with a police guy one day, I say, is he a I am, yes, because I have joined. <laughs> so it is God, well, this, so this is a very sensitive area. Also, will you join for, uh, NDA to, uh, uh, what do you call it, soldier to? Yes, I will join as member. I don't need to be in their uniform, but I'm a member because I attend their meetings and I'm part of their, and have my ID card. Ambition. Why? Because I knew that one day I may grow. I could be just drive for night now, one day. And I was just asking me questions. That day they said it was COVID. Some police were still moving. They're passing. Speed they have, they say, oh, go quickly. They feel an assignment. And for good things, to also help the society. So that's your motion. That's one of the motives I actually have to ensure this is like done. What am I trying to say? Ambition. Ambition. Number two, they are courageous. That's courage. <laughs> Everyone is afraid. The best sales people do it anyway. Ask for the sale. The top people confront their fears. You have to be courageous, bold. Seriously. It's not really boldness, it's just courageous, being courageous. Okay, am I too fast? Look at that. Those that are watching, courageous. Is there any question on the comment section? Let me have it. Is there any question? And let me have them also. So, everyone is afraid, generally. It's actually fear. Ah, let me tell you the meaning of fear. Ah, F-E-A-R means what? Forget everything and run. <laughs> Forget everything what? Ah, no, no. Number three, commitment. Ah, listen to this one. Those that must remain successful in sales must be committed. Commit something. You see, many people are actually omitting what is committed in their hands. So when you, you give omission to commitments, there will be definitely no supplement, supplement for success. So many times, supplement comes as a result of what? Your commitment. What is supplements? Those things that help you just enter the place be successful ingredients look at it say he said paul was it paul planted apollo's water and god gave it the increase is that true yes. correct right i'm not a bible scholar right <laughs> but these are all the things that we that just read so it means that it, when you it's, it's, i shall bless the work of their hands what is in your hands no flyer you don't even have the videos of the estate you are tired of real estate tired real estate will be tired of you no sense will come your way why because of you didn't believe in it you're not committed commitment is what has made me remain National is good for three years. Yes. Since 2019, 2017, 18, this is 19, this is 20 now, this is fourth year. Well, okay, I, got, I was not national in 2017 anyway, I was in 2018. That's when I won the award. Then up down to this time and all that. Commitment. Consistency is a tool or is a characteristic or an embodiment of what? Commitment. Someone that is committed to something will be consistent. Just like you say, uh, you have to have many things, but consistency is very key. Will you market today and stop marketing tomorrow? So about you, that's it depends. Are you committed to this real estate? Yes. You can still be committed to it and still be committed to other things. I've seen people that actually have different, different things and they are successful in them. They give it their time. I am a father. Father, father. Very busy guy, right? But I still... <laughs> Watch everything going there because of commitment. I'm committed to my business. I look as if I'm working without even seeing my family. It happened many people think that way. But we were surprised that I took them over to the place to enjoy ourselves. 
leave my baby at home that is still young. Can you leave her there? Let us get to her. Me have joined. Let us get to the car. Let us go. I want to flex a little bit. My head is a bit. Or do you call any baby? Yeah, can I get this guy out of this place? I will go out of this and then we'll go and enjoy. It was an evening. It took two hours. I'll come back home. As few as I have, I give a whole day at times every week. One day. Full day. Don't get anywhere. You don't wonder. Because what do you mean? Yes, I do that. That particular day, I do online trainings alone. And I'm with them at home. You don't ask questions. Are you serious? I do that. <laughs> but I still train over for the Sony companies in one month. But how? Well, I struggle it out. It's commitment. Commitment also makes me still grow in the church part that I was promoted. That was only me promoted also in church. So, people say you cannot get it everywhere. Well, you can get it everywhere if you are committed to all of them. You just give them their time. But don't make people just start saying that you give too much time to this. Share the time. I go together. It's commitment. It's sensitive. Commitment is also caring. You give care. Caring is a key element in successful selling. Ah, I didn't take joke there. I hear things. Okay, let me get this in dumb. I was not too busy to wash the plates in the morning. I have my reasons. It's commitment. <laughs> Everybody is there. No problem. I do all these things too. It's called commitment. Oh, I don't get children. You are not marketing again. No problem. You are not committed. You, that's why you are not having sales. What kept you on the top will maintain you there. I'm very careful. Very sensitive. But I'm a star, not a scar. So it's either once a star or a scar. So you have to check all these things very well and understand where you are going. Selling has often be defined as transfer of enthusiasm. You really want to commitment. Let's proceed. My name is Dixon Onochu. By the grace of God, I am the managing director of Sigma Profile Limited which is otherwise known as your investment house. It's a real estate company with development projects across the real estate spectrum. Our current listings on sale are Vatican Garden East in Fish 2 as a Delta. The East in Asaba is located behind Asaba Airport and beside the immigration office at uh, Ibozo Street Asaba. It is selling at a promo price of 1.5 million naira per plot. And the promo will end on the 31st of July 2020. Vatican Garden Estate Enugu is located at Obago, Okanano, beside Centenary City and is sharing its neighborhood with other estates like Jedidaya. Diaspora Estate and many other upcoming estates and it is selling at a price of 5.5 million naira. All our estate will feature solid parameter fencing, road network, underground cable, drainage system, security network, street light and the recreational center. Why should you invest into this our estate? Because they have a fantastic return on investment. Excellent location they have, excellent facilities that we have. It has a good title. They are also free from government and position. And you have freedom of choice on building design you can put up. We don't have to dictate for you. The secret is that you need to find out where the people are going. And you go there and buy the land and wait before they get there. That is how many that have become very rich in real estate today were able to get there. Now you don't need to wait to buy land. You buy real estate land and wait. The more you believe in what you sell, the easier it is for you to convince someone else. Ah. It is what you told them about your wife or your relationship that they will see, that they will treat her like that. That's why no matter how angry you are with her or him, don't say some things that will cause problems for you tomorrow. They will use the side, but you once said <laughs> she's a bad person. But you once said real estate is not good. Be careful what you are saying now. But you once said that if it's lucky land are not good, you just said it. They will take it. Are you aware some pastor have actually said something ten years ago? They brought it up when they were having issues and showed the public that this is what you once said. 
more you believe. What you said? The easier it is <laughs> for you to what? convince someone else. Mm. It's no much talk. Number four. They see themselves as what? Consultants than as what? Salespeople. Eh. If you want to succeed, you really have to be go beyond becoming a salesperson. A salesperson is someone that, someone that wants to work, keep selling, right? A consultant is someone like an oracle. We only go and consult the gods. As good as uh, many things they call oracle, spark, or budget, or in the platform, I have seen things. Might have been to altars, including Babalao's houses before, where they wanted to join court. Now, in all of these things, people go there to consult. I had friends who were in cabals who wanted me to be part of it. That they felt I could get security from all the So they would check, they can check it. They would, honestly, it's consult, they cannot consult you when you don't have uh, information. Yes. So who is a consultant? Someone that has good information. Consultancy, very critical. I'm a consultant, I'm really a consultant. Because what do you know? <laughs> Show me five estates that you can, can you explain them to me? Can you draw them out? What is the layer? Where is the gate? Out? Everything, can you say them? Yeah, you're not a consultant. If I tell you now I need a land in Abuja now, what will you do? If I tell you now that I need my lands to be allocated quickly, what will you do? Which contact do you have? They don't know you in the company. So when they call now, say, okay, do you know uh, Mr. Wasu? Say, Wasu? No, no, no. It's no, no. I don't, I don't think we have that person in our company. Because we are not relating with the company. Consultancy. Number five. People accept you. Let me take. Let me. Let me see. Follow with number four. People accept you at the way you present yourself. Act like a consultant in everything you do and say. What does a consult, consultant what do? Very sensitive also. Look at this place. Look at this. Uh, for instance, where you have uh, phrases. Just let's look at this together. There's some forbidden phrases we are very careful of. I'm a consultant. I'm a consultant. You have some things you should not say. Yes, I made mistakes on some other things while growing. There's something I said. I had to learn how to manage them. There's something you say, you have to now know how to deal with them. Else they can take you out of anything. Watch. When the client asks a question, don't tell him, I don't know. It's wrong. There are ways to say all these things without saying them. But saying them in another way. Let me give an instance now. I have my daddy in there. I have uh, some other, I have you, I have some other darkly here. Let me give an instance now. Maybe that's my big brother, for instance, or, or it's my big brother, for instance. Now, it happens that he's telling me something. And I'm like, I know that thing is a lie. Will I tell him it's a lie? No. I'll say what? Uh, that's not true now. What, what does it mean? It means what? It's a lie. <laughs> it still means what? It's a lie. But I've said it in that way. Do you have the land? Uh, well, let me check, let me check. Don't say no. You see that now? It's not saying. Because when you keep saying N O, N O, N O, it's not saying O N. You are on for it. At the end of the day, what happens to you? The day the client wants to buy the one that you have, he won't call you. Because he said that guy used to say no. He <laughs> said, no brother. Look at this. What do you need to know? Don't ask the client that. Tell him, I feel you should know. Are forbidden phrases in consultancy in sales? Don't tell a client that is against our company's policy, it's wrong, very wrong. Don't tell a client you are wrong, sir. Use the word that's not true, sir. Be polite. How are you saying it? I feel you know, see how there's a way to say all these things, sir. Phrases, I don't know. No. What do you need to know? That's against our community policy. We cannot cut the commission down. Why not tell him I will do something about it? I will get back to you shortly. Let me see what I can do about that now. Uh, just a minute. Hold on the phone. Do all the necessary things. For instance, they are paying you commission for instance, maybe 5%. You can let go 3% or 2% and get that deep fly. Never tell a client that he's going to get this, this kind of volume of money. Tell him in percentage. How to get that? Client say, okay, I want to get discount. Tell me, I'm going to work out something for you, just a minute. How many people are you going to buy, sir? They're not talking. I'll ask, okay, I'm going to call you back shortly. Or if he's there, I'll leave him, go somewhere. 
or can just decide to plan. That's why I'm very crazy in sales. I have people I can just call, they understand my language. Perform as if he's acting. This business is very crazy. I can just plan with you. I just go, I say, Alpha, uh, please. My client is really here with me now. And uh, the land is saying uh, he wants to buy. So can we give him this can to um, then you will now form as if you are still one of the people in the office. You're my source now, my upline. You already understand that this is our business. Just because say, yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, I'll put on last speaker because I'm so sure you understand already. So you're not going to come and say, what are you asking my ass company now? <laughs> he just said, ah, not to remember. <laughs> so at the end of the day, he knows what to do. He just say, okay, well, um, yeah, the land, okay. How many is he buying? Well, if he's buying two or three, we'll give him 5% discount. But that's if you can pay today or tomorrow. Say, so you had the office people. Don't say it's the MD. It's somebody from the office. Your upline is, your for, your upline is not someone from the office. Yes, sir. So I do that. I say, just let me call someone from the office. I say, I want to call the MD. I cannot reach the MD. Now let me call someone from the office. And I call somebody else. I say, okay, sir. Uh, okay, you know, say, let me talk to him. Uh, okay, uh, I'd to know, sir. Um, well, um, one of my cousins said, He's talking. He's part of the business. <laughs> Let me not go to deep. You will have to. Tell the client, that's not my job. Tell him, we have never done it that way. It's wrong. All of these things are not really good. They are forbidden phrases in what? Sales. Let's proceed. What makes people remember? What did you do? <laughs> Number five, they are prepared. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Let's take a look at this. Uh, sorry, sorry, no, hold on. Let's look at this together. I'm used to using the so I'm to use my. We can look at the pre-call research. Do your homework. You gotta prepare. You have a presentation to do. Prepare for it. Mentally, what prepare. If you had a bad mood, take a walk. Change it before you get there. So it doesn't start affecting you. Maybe, maybe someone just broke your heart just yesterday and you are coming out to meet another person to talk to him about real estate. You gotta take a walk for a while. Fix yourself before you come back. Don't go for the research or for the preparation for the what? Presentation that way. I'm telling you. The only possible you can go with somebody. Because many times a lot of people actually have issues with their life. Because of how they entered it. Look at the pre-call objectives. What are your goals? You gotta write it down. Stating out. Sometimes you need to go with all the questions. That's why you don't go for a presentation without an FAQ. Very critical. When they're asking, I'll get back to you, I'll get back. Don't say those things. Tell him. Give the answer there. If you say I'm gonna get back to you, try and fix it from there. Post-call analysis. Write down every detail. When to be contact. Oh, please, can you give me a call so then write everything that so you can say, okay, last time we spoke about this and this and this, and they said I should call you with respect to the volume you are going to be buying, sir. Apparently, I have a survey with me and I've cut your name out. Do you want the front side of the estate or the back side? <laughs> it's not true. They're just asking those questions. Or do you want a place at the middle? Or do you like corner piece, sir? You are asking him funny, funny questions to get him to talk. <laughs> Think what. Other approach could be used to advance the what? The prospect of success. Number six, they engage in continuous learning. These are quality of top sales people. And well, we have to keep learning. Ah. The more you learn, the more you earn. That's what they used to say, right? Learning never ends. That's the truth. Now when they say the more you learn, the more you earn. Not everybody really will earn from what they learn. You know what? Because don't use it. <laughs> so that's why I'm not agreeing with the more you uh, learn, the more you earn. They are not that. I can learn many things. They are not using them. <laughs> you don't need all. But you just need to be keep what? Engaging what? Continuous learning. Meaning that what? When I mean continuous learning, mean that what? Don't feel you've arrived. The things you've learned before, unlearn them and relearn. Me now, knowing digital marketing, I need to go back again to school if there's need. Keep learning, be updated, because if your life is uh, updated, it's because of your, uh, your inability to update what you currently have, you really had then. You are still living in the past. Someone telling me that IBM is still the latest. It's not serious. IBM, 
international business machine that is still the, is asking me about the class of computer, uh, computers when they are more <laughs> there's half oh, there are all hours now you understand so if your thoughts are not updated your life will be outdated so engage in god continuous learning that's what i'm trying to say let's look at this keys to continuous learning read one hour in selling every day we have to start learning to read sales people that want to do well must read I'm telling you. Now, reading does not mean book. That's why I said I didn't put book here. See what I did with this guy. I put him here. I put a, a pencil up here. And God is here. You can read from your phone or laptop. Go to Google. Check something online. Types of sales. Read them. Why don't people make sales after they, when they dress nice? Check. Read it well and digest and see whether you, your mind accepts it. Learn something daily on sales. So I'm trying to say. Look at this other one again. Listen to audio tapes in your car. We did one when we were coming today. It was more my audio, but it was actually helping me to behave well again. Because even when I talk, I can teach something and I can become a victim of it if I'm not careful. If I don't really listen to it. That's why you see that people that actually teach about um, um, about uh, prosperity. They end up, some of them became poor. Because they have forgotten the principles they taught. <laughs> it happens. They fear they know it all. Take all the training you can get. Very important. All of them seriously. Go back to them and study them again. Number seven, the last one. Be responsible. What is responsibility? It's responding to your ability. <laughs> so responding to, to your ability is what? Being responsible. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable for most of this stuff. Being responsible is responding to that particular stuff. Okay, well, I'm a real estate person. This is what they actually do for me. I'm a coach. What should I know as a coach? Yes, you will not grow. I'm a salesperson. Oh, I'm selling this stuff. What can I do today? Have I shared the pictures or the flyers on my status? Do I have an account, a Facebook account? This man said something about using Max on the phone. So I have to go and check my Facebook account and see whether it is real. And then the friends I have on Facebook are they people that can buy real estate. If they are not people that can buy real estate, then they can be you can be what recruited. Then if I don't want to use them, what can I do with them? So I have to offend. Listen to me. You need to go back to your Facebook and offend. So I offended one thousand people recently. They're not doing anything there. <laughs> I put them in my normal account. Leave my normal from my account when I was younger, like when I was in 11, 12. I had one Facebook account, so I had to, they are still there. But the new one for Spakovaje, now I have one person there. You know, everything is posted. No, no, please. He has never sent me a message for please remove him. You need to start being like that. So you can have great good minds. The people that you connect with determine what you collect in life. Ah, look at these two things I learned. One, people that you must not miss. And people that you must not meet. In life, the people that you must not never meet. And in life, the people that you must never miss. So I look at those two things and look. Who is this person? Is he about this? I'm always checking. And I see who for the first time. I look at them from afar. Am I supposed to meet? Them? Do I need anything deeper with this person to talk? I don't mean relationship. Do I need to get this guy out of my? Or we are together? Let me know where we are now. Just like you have what they call the bamboos and the pillars of life. When they are making a building, you see bamboo is rejoicing. But then they remove it. The bamboo is actually used to get the place up. But the pillars remain there. So are there bamboos or pillars? Yes. Check. <laughs> You have to start selling yourself. This is where I'm going to end the class. How to improve sales massive and grow your business. Number one, communicate with your current customers. If you must succeed in sales, you have to communicate. Those that are watching from any group, from other offices, you need to take note, and that's about two, that you may have made sales before. What happened to the people that bought from you last year? Where are the people that actually bought from you this year? Have you sent them a message of congratulation? Because you are only waiting for the sake. Commit, uh, commission, commission, commission. They give you a bag of advice. What stop you from carrying one and giving them? Two. They gave you two or four. Carry one to the man's house. Drive in the car. Book Uber if you don't have a car. I arrive at his front of his office. And then what do you do? As you meet him there, what then do you now do? You will see number four. Refer us. I will tell you about that when I get there. For now, understand this part. Communicate with your, with your current customers. Hey, the one I just bought. Next, you forgot his number. You don't go out his contact again. You don't have his receipts. You forgot his name. 
It's Ojuku, Ojuku something, I Ojuku something. You don't know it because of what? You don't communicate with them. You don't send them happy, happy Sunday. But when the time you wanted to close the deal, you were following them bumper to bumper. You like the lady so much, now you have married her, you're not taking care of her again. God will soon kill you. Very important, very critical. <laughs> very sensitive. I used to get angry with all those things. That's like what I do. I may travel all other places and go everywhere with people. But I don't joke with my family. If you have built a strong relationship with your current client and they, are, they perceive you as what well, a trusted partner, they are more likely to share challenges they are facing with you. Yes. You gotta enter into them. I'm telling you reality. Yeah. By listening to them, you can assess easily how you may be able to help, able your, to help your clients address that. Yeah. So this can build a what a foundation of offering alternative or what new products. Communicate, son. The house that they do not communicate will soon break. Let's go to the next slide. Bundle your services and products. <laughs> Several small businesses have established success by selling bundle services and products as a package. Rather than selling them as individual offers, customers associate a service bundle with service. So all of these things that they are saying here may not really be exactly on what we do generally, but look at what it means. In a scenario that a client wants to make payment sometime, you can look at the particular project. Let me give you an instance now. Vatican Estate, or our estate in Nasaba, or the one we have in uh, that's close to the airport, the one in uh, Santina, that's Enugu, certainly right. Now you now find out that I want to market this particular stuff. For the client I used to see, they're always asking some kind of questions that I don't really know how to classify them. So what will I do? Go and have a form. You can even design your own flyer, special flyer. You can write a three months plan. Six months, I can do what they call three months, or can do six months, I can do four months. Do it your own way, put your instrument the way you like it, and start marketing. It will be easier for you. You can get the pictures, do that, snap your picture, do everything, personalize it based on bundle. See what they are doing. You know, we have some people that can buy half plots, right? How together? 600 square meter and then 300 square meter. You can call the other one called silver plot, you know, gold plot. So, when you're talking about the money for it's okay, sir, do you want a silver plot or a gold plot? It's like a silver plot. Which one is silver plot again? Which one is gold plot? So silver plot is actually 300 square meter. Gold plot is what? 600 square meter. And then uh, the uh, platinum, uh, the diamond plot is what? 1,200 <laughs> square meter. And the, the platinum is what? 3,000 square meter. He said, oh, I think I like uh, the platinum. Oh, I like the diamond. <laughs> Who formed it? You. <laughs> That's what I need by bondo. Request what? Preference. That, that's number three I was saying. So when you communicate with that person now, you cannot give him a form. Sir, I did that thing the other day, but I've not done it recently. That was uh, early in the year. That was before February, before Valentine. I wanted to get clients for a company. I had to get um, to meet this man and told him that um, I would like to see him. He has bought before. But if I met him, I had to go and meet him in his house. He's not a phone team. If his phone, it won't work. So I want to meet you, sir. I want to see you, sir. The man said, okay, well, no problem. Um, what do you want to see me for? Is this something you can talk on the phone? I said, well, with just some, yeah, I need some little advice and all that. He said, what, what do you want me to do? I said, okay, just fix a convenient time, I will see you. He said, okay, I'm going to be traveling so time. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back from Owewe uh, during the weekend. I said, okay, sir, I'll be with you. And that's how I came back and I met, he came back and I met him in his house. In our company, they are appreciating clients so, and they want to give clients gifts. And I was thinking of something, I don't know if you like the idea. I know what I want to do. I'm just trying to paint the picture and see if I needed to do Say, I want to I want to get um, to get all my clients to bring them back so I can get them to benefit from it. He said, really, um, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? What if you have I don't what if you have a phone or you can call them one after the other? I said, sir, what I was thinking of this, sir. I, I did a form. I don't like the form is okay. And I would like you to please help me check the form. If the form is actually a uh, meeting with what I can use, sir. That's my point, so it's, it's an advice. I'm asking for no advice. It's not looking at me. Then I put here name, client's name. And I put here referral one, name, phone number, and email. Referral two. I have five. 
Then I said, is this one okay? He said, uh, hey, it's very okay, it's very okay, it's nice. That's okay, ah. Huh? Ah, this I will forget. So you're my client too. Can you please just fill the form too? That's how I started. Now what did the man do for me? The man filled his name. Then gave me five of his friends that can buy what he bought. That's fair, right? Fair. But I don't enter that man that way. He won't give me that thing. I look as if I wanted his advice. That is why some people are actually very close to you. If you're not careful at times, they can pull you along because they want to bring you to their vision. But it's their vision that you will play out at the end of the day. The way I'm going is that what? Some people can be brought into deals by manipulation. I'm not saying you start manipulating clients, but it's psychological, so you have to build something around that. They are saying the devil is successful. Why is he successful? Because he's a good manipulator. <laughs> so manipulation is also part of the system. That's what learn it to paint the picture. Why did I visit this man in his house with a bottle of granite? Sorry, ma. Step on you. I visited him with a what? A bottle of granite when they they just did the naming ceremony of his of his of his, of his, of his, of his son. Bottle of granite. Uh, he has not bought land though. <laughs> bottle of granite. Uh, I said I didn't have much money. So I look for 900 naira wine. There are some wine of 800 in the yeah. shop price. Yeah. I know it was one figure, 900 naira, 899 point something in cover. So I got that one, bottle of granite, 500 naira. If I give them a 2,000 naira, I won't see it as anything. When I brought the wine and the granite, oh God, it meant something. I sat down there. <laughs> and guess what I did to the granite? Listen to me what I did to the granite. I took on the flyer of the estate I was marketing then. I will do that in here. Did I'm going to come here for traditional marketing? You have to get ready. Because we may have to do some things together. So probably you may have to do flyers down for people that will come. We will do them for them. I'm going to give people that will come around that the flyers. You will put your number in the flyer. See what I did. But you are going to come with a bottle of granite. Huh? So the bottle of granite I had here, and I took the sticker. This was the sticker. Normal sticker that was white with the name of the estate, Vatican Estate. I'm giving an instance. That's not the name of the company I did. Vatican Estate, uh, become a landlord now. Uh, call. You can start today and put here. Don't and don't let don't let what I say don't let 2018 pass you by right. before right. you become a landlord. I just put it straight. I designed my own. And what do I do with it next? Go man for the granite. <laughs> 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 what happened now to the granite now? People are coming to for the the granite and they are seeing the ah which granite make with this one? Let me see this one. <laughs> and they are seeing land. So this company they try, they will get granite. <laughs> <laughs> now it was actually a concept, yes. but it just worked for me. Some of you may not work for them because they don't have the approach. Yeah. But then you have to learn it. Every party know how to do it. I love branding. Branding is part of life. Sometimes you need to. I love these guys, Malka people. That's not my church, but I love them so. That's Pastor Lazarus Malka. That's um, Lord choosing. See all of them with the cloth. Perfect marketing. They are the best marketers as long as I can. Learn. To me, I feel they are the best marketers. Why? You wear it up and down. Imagine I wear land like that. <laughs> don't let your kid ask you why don't you own a plot of land in Lagos. Own one today with hundred k. Sir, phone number is back. Phone number everywhere. I'm moving. <laughs> Walking up and down. Notice me. You have to start a posture display. I'm moving like that. See prostitute now. She is showing herself. Uh -huh. Passing. Passing. The same way also, some of the passing up and down. What I used to do is that I used to wear some of those clothes sometimes. My company stopped being a real estate coach. And I will now join to help things, to do one thing on the altar in the church so they can know who I am. I love it. Personal salesmanship. Very critical. Because many people are not working with you because they feel that you are not good enough for what they want. So, can this one, what does he know about real estate? Um, let me look for a better person. Even himself, does he know what one millionaire means? We get an instance. Because it doesn't look like it. So that's why he said, if you fake it till you what? Make, make it. it. It's a little characteristic of life. You try it a little bit, small, little by little. Even though it doesn't look like real, do a little of the fake. Look like it. Move like it. You have to look like one millionaire. Wear a good shoe. Don't buy different color of trousers. We buy only black. One black trousers goes what? Ten trousers. How do you go and buy red, pink? Yes, sir. They will know first. <laughs> hey, look, I'm just going black skirt. But only skirt, only what? Can I help? I go together. So, but only black one. Nobody will know. Just buy different shirts. They're looking nice, though. Even though they're hunger, don't worry. Don't show your face. <laughs> Keep going.
Child, God is faithful. Excuse me, sir. I have this client. So, so clients. I used to do that thing. There is no client. I used to meet a client who I know is pompous. I said, excuse me, the land. No, we have finished selling that one. Two plots. Oh. We, that last week was 800,000 now. No, it's 1.5 now this week. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'm in one of my client's office. I'm in one of my client's office. He's paying now. He's paying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Call the call. He said, which line? I said, sorry, one of my clients, Jerry. It's not true. He <laughs> said, okay, other ah, client. So which one is that one that they bought that is now 9, 9, 9, 1.5? Yes. Show me something like that. Do you understand now? Yes. You have to learn it to, please, all this holy holiness, stop it to, else you will not go anywhere. Yes. I'm not saying we should not be God-fearing, yes. but learn how to act. Because marketers must be, so, be, good, must be good actors. Yes. You have to rehearse this, write script down. You want, you want plan on more did they write them down? You go escape here, go do you know, Keep this person here. They plan it. So if they can plan, why can't you plan? My name is Dixon Onochubo. By the grace of God, I am the managing director of Sigma Profile Limited, which is otherwise known as your investment house. It's a real estate company with development project across the real estate spectrum. Our current estates on sale are Vatican Garden Estate Fish 2 and Sama Delta. The estate in Asaba is located behind Asaba Airport and beside the immigration office at uh, Ibozo, stroke Asaba. It is selling at a promo price of 1.5 million naira per plot. And the promo will end on the 31st of July 2020. Vatican Garden Estate, Enugu, is located at Obago, Okanano, beside Centenary City. And it's selling its neighborhood in other estates like Jedidaya. Diaspora Estate and many other upcoming estates and it is selling at a price of 5.5 million naira. All our estates will feature solid parameter fencing, road network, underground cable, drainage system, security network, street light and the recreational center. Why should you invest into this our estate? Because they have a fantastic return investment. Excellent location it has, excellent facilities that we have. It has a good title. It is also free from government and position. And you have freedom of choice on building design you can put up. We don't have to dictate for you. The secret is that you need to find out where the people are going. And you go there and buy the land and wait before they get there. That is how many that have become very rich in real estate today were able to get there. Now you don't need to wait to buy land. You buy real estate land and wait. I would get a request for the fair number four, the last one. Have a limited time promotion of sale. Placing a discount on product can seem to go against the idea of giving generative revenue through sales. But even a slight discount on your services and product can make them more attractive to prospective clients. You are not making sales fast, fast. Just tell them. Send a message. 5% discount. You can give discount by yourself on the product. You tell your client that anybody that buy it through me, I give them 5% discount. That is true only me and because of my relationship with the company, sir. You can ask the company and find out. <laughs> they ask you, what do you mean by that? Where? Because I know that I'm going to get 15% or 10% or 30% of commission. And I'm ready to let go. I did one crazy one, 10% discount. I got only 5% from many people bought from me. Everybody was selling land in the office, selling, but I sold 10% discount. It was on my flyer, I put on there. Let me do the promo. Very good weeks, but he gave me more money. Yeah. Ah, you need your, you need your, uh, 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 I'm telling you the reality. You needed money fast, fast, right? Do something that is crazy. Yeah. Everybody that buys now, like me now, I used to do some kind of extra commission for my people. You know why I do that? Because I want to get them to sell through me. I'm going to let go. 
Imagine a client asking you that is it land negotiable? And they have told of us, we are all sales people. We have been told that um, it's not negotiable. That's a fixed price. Yeah. But if you are a consultant, you should know what to do. So yes, it's negotiable, sir. How many plots are you buying? buying? Oh, you're buying two or three. Oh, um, well, I can make them give you 5% discount. If uh, you're buying like three plots, uh, talk, to, talk to them, talk to them, I'll increase it. Talk to them. You're talking to yourself, not them. They, they, they doesn't know. So, okay, okay, all right. Um, so, but the thing I will do now is that just give me like two minutes, sir. Let me see if I can reach out to GM or boss from any office there. You have to have people that can be talking to once in a while. This thing I'm saying is not written anywhere. It's a script. They don't know how to write this in a book, but they do it. What I just said is not written in a book, but it's part of sales. They just say, okay, okay. Okay, what we're going to do is that, uh, imagine what I did to a church. They didn't want me to come and come to the church to do anything there. In fact, it was my own area quarter. And I said, let me announce in the church, anybody that buys land here, told pastor, 5% will go to the building project. They gave me space. Announce it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Announce it, right? Uh, quickly. No matter they announcing quickly. Look at that thing. Yes. But it was the area because I was not even in my parish. I'm trying to tell them that you should give me space to tell them about what I do. Let me just meet them after service. I almost said after service. Just share the flag. They said no. That no, it's not allowed. It's against the yes. principle of will of the within Christian Church of God. That's no problem. <laughs> I came up with an offer. We have a particular project that's going on here. I want us to do it such a way that uh, whenever they pay for the land, they will give five percent to your building project. He said there are a lot of people that really buy you. Oh. It's not what I said with no advertising for. Now I'm going to give you fifteen minutes. Is it okay? You have materials, everything, so you can get this thing done. <laughs> Today's service, if I come up to preach, it was doing the service they gave it to me. What am I saying? When you put the interest on some people, you do deal. Even pastors love deals. If there's a way to collect the money, they will collect it. <laughs> you understand that kind of thing? So, do deals. Deals is what makes things fly. And it is enough. Most rare thoughts should start learning how to write offer letters. That's another thing that many people that are making sales know that you don't know. It's like the lawyers. What's an offer letter? The client told you that I want to buy two plots, three plots. You just need to just type a letter, short letter, form a name of your company, Abraham Mix something, or meet the company. They can help you. They'll just give you the letterhead will be there. You can even use your phone. Letterhead maker, download it, letterhead maker. Fill the form, put your company, put your uh, address, don't put the number of the address. Then when you are done with those stuff, put the offer letter. That you are going, I can give a sample to the group if you guys want to. If you ask, I will put it. But if you don't ask, there's no need. In the forum, if you ask, I will do that. You put a phone, then you put the, the details, everything there. You put the plot size, then you do it, and then you send it back to him. That offer letter is like kind of relationship. So you see that the serious thing. Then me, what I used to do, I would print it, I would sign it. Then I will now put the layer at the back of the offer letter. And the subscription form, I will go and submit it in his office. That is a, my place, <laughs> no, there's, a, there's an address, but, sir. But it's not number. You know, you don't very, very have an office. So, for example, now maybe I stay in number one, uh, uh, Barisoya Street. I don't want to put number one. I just put a Barisoya Street, comma Aja Lagos, off Lake I, 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 That kind of thing. I would get that. Yes. What does it do? It just makes like, if you don't know exactly place. You're going to call me to know. Or you tell the office to help you and give you letters. You need to start learning to have those offer letters or proposal letters. Sometimes it helps to help and pursue sales. Don't give people flyer again alone. Flyers is not what brings sales. What brings sales is this thing, is the main estate itself. So what then do you do? Take the flyer, take a layout of the estate that you are selling, or take an information about the estate at the back and staple it. You can, have, you can build a normal proposal letter, normal letter, and write to put it there. You can be writing their number by them, their name by themselves. You are addressing to them one by one. The day I will teach traditional marketing, this is what I will be saying. Because that will be my next topic when I'm coming here again. Traditional marketing. How to make banner stickers, everything, so that everybody here will come crazy. And that means you have to come here that day with a bottle of granite. 
<laughs> because you are going to make a sticker that you put wrapped with granite to give to your pastor on Sunday. Because it's a Friday, right? So that on Sunday or give anybody that's some that stuff. So they are going to sacrifice at least two thousand naira. That means to give to someone you feel that can buy land. But what we're going to do that day is that to make that granite to sell the land. Are we together? Yes. Okay. I think I'm, I'm already done with this. Number five is listing. I've said about listing. If I've talk, I've talked about it for listing. Number six is take advantage of the social media. That social media is very critical. Yes. Let's. You need to be on Facebook, Twitter, a lot of them. And together. So always tell a client that ah, the land that I was marketing to you that day, it was such an amount. It's now this amount. It's why I told you to buy that time. You said, okay, no problem. But then you are not your parents. You are you. Think like you. <laughs> That's the last part of my class. About for the three slides, I told you. So is there any question? Please, can I take questions? I have a question there. Yes, sir. Go ahead with your question. <clears throat> okay, my question is this. Um, I think it's not that uh, the new client I want to buy and we have discussed with him. Mm -hmm. You know, do you need to you know, put in pressure on him on a daily basis or just how do you follow him? <laughs> follow up. You're talking about follow up, right? Yeah. Now, the question is, for people that are watching, viewers over there, he said something, one of the participants here, the attendees. You got a client who you are prospecting. Uh, should you keep putting pressure? In fact, what pressure is not needed uh, in the first place? But what is, I always show that it's not good. People don't like pressures. <laughs> so I don't think it's nice. So you keep uh, pushing too much, being so pushy. Well, it's good to communicate to a client, but don't be too pushy, so you don't look too desperate. However, here's my advice. There are many ways to relate with clients or prospects who are, want to become, who, are, who are to be clients. You can relate to them based on the initial relation you actually had with them earlier. Send me the materials via WhatsApp. You sent to him. He didn't send me again. Leave him. All he now needs is try to initiate relationship with him from under arm. Most of the clients I actually had, let me personalize that particular question for myself. That I actually had some time um, in uh, June, just in the middle of the COVID, this post COVID now. Yeah. Um, those people that I was talking to, that were people that would have bought some of our estates that I've spoken to before, before that time. It happened that I had to start learning how to manage the feedback they had. So it means that what they said earlier, they were like, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to get back to you and all that. I just kept quiet. I didn't say anything again. What then, what then I do later? I have to start sending them the updates on the lucky. Then later, I left it. And I showed them again. And I sent another video again to them about the closure of the Third Milan Bridge. I just changed the topic. One Sunday, I just said, happy Sunday. And I sent comedy. <laughs> nice comedy. We are all laughing. They put a reply me, Lord, Lord. So they are not talking about this one, but they are talking now. So later, I say, Happy New Week. I stop. I get them three days. And I did book SMS to all the numbers. So you have to live it on different, different strategies. Don't be too serious with life. Because life is not even serious with yourself. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, they take it easy. You know? So sometimes you see some people that actually really want something, but they are just taking their time. I was together. So you can man, you can actually man that particular position of trying to prospect without using too much of SMSs. By using either um, WhatsApp, no videos, sometimes just checking on them, how you coping, or I need just, just do something different. It could be book SMS, it could be email marketing, it could be anything, something different. You can call. It's okay. So I want to send you the layout of the estate now. Which mail can I send it to? Because I actually put a particular place I want you guys, I want you to see something about the layout so you can understand this estate. Oh, really, send to me. One of my guys in the church was not talking to me after I've spoken to him about land for a while. When will you buy the land now, my big big brother in the church? He said, no, well, you know, say, I just came back and uh, they have not given us our money from offshore. He was talking about offshore. That um, I will do something next month and all that. Next month, vision is not saying anything. I didn't ask him again. 
Not as if it's not in my mind. What did I do? I just took the layout of the estate on a Sunday inside a brown envelope and gave it to him to go through. He was, in fact, he was, he was going through it in the car. I was about going, forgetting about him, saying, now come back. Please, oh, please, oh. I like this layout. Now you're talking. He started talking. That's how, that's, how, that's how we start talking. Fine, listen to me. He didn't really buy that estate. But it was positive. I'm, I'm always being real. I won't lie. He didn't buy the estate. But it was positive in such a way that it's okay. You know what? I like this, but give me something like this with this same pattern you have here in uh, the East. That he doesn't buy Lagos land. That was that kind of plan that I had. Yeah. So that made him want to buy from somewhere else because I gave him yeah. better updates. Some clients do not want to buy flyer. What are the first flyer? Flyer is designed. That's what they see. Can I see the pictures? Some don't want pictures, they want videos. So you need to know how to follow up. It's not everybody that wants the same thing. Fly, 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 fly. When they go to your world, you just say fly. This is guy, you use less guy. Too much flyer. You know, so that kind of thing. It happens. Any other question? Do I answer your question? A bit right. Follow up. Any other question? One more question. From the comment section from Owe, from uh, Asaba, from Enugu. Any question from the comment section? Quick, put them over. Let's have it. Yes, please. General, as something that has got to do with. Uh, no, no, Tell me about it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, now, a client that was marketing my house in the beginning. Yes. And then uh, I was telling him something about that the thing with that. Mm. So he was concerned about the health hazard of the planet. I don't know, I didn't know what to do. Good question. I like that stuff you just said. That's it's marketing a particular client. And uh, he told the client is all close to Dangote refinery. And then the man is asking, saying that, ah, uh, Dangote refinery, that means it's refinery now. <laughs> so that means there will be a lot of health, what is that, and all that. You need to let him know that the kind of refinery that is there is the modern refinery. They have built certain uh, kind of, uh, they built certain, certain mechanism to help manage that, those hazards. So that even if you are close to it, it can affect you. That's the essence of all this they are building, that they are putting things on the ground and all that things. So they have channeled everything in such a way that it's gone. It will be going all the stuff. It's not like those normal ones. It's a modern refinery. That's why it's very expensive. Those things I used to tell my people that don't tell a client that it's too close to the refinery. Uh, but after knowing this information, we can tell the client, but you must add this one to it. But if the client will not understand, don't, don't tell him at all. Because a client that is staying, that's why you have to research a client. A client that is staying in Apapa, for instance, you know he stays in Apapa and he's trying to what? Run away from those nonsense. And then you brought him again to. So the thing is that ask him, do you want to buy for yourself or you want to buy for investment? He's buying for investment. That means he wants to be a landlord to people that are staying, that will be working there. No, then that's the right place. But if you want to stay inside it, then you either buy around Eleko or before Eleko or the other side, Eleko and Best side, those side. You choose. So you'll be able to identify where he should buy and give you a good advice. Do you understand? So that's how it works. Because you have to understand the client. You research him, then study. Go and read more about the Dango the refinery. The modern refinery. Just read about it. You see that there's a kind of mechanism they are building together that will, it will take all those smoke. They will not be they will not be smoke, all those things. That's why it's very expensive and it's millions of dollars. <laughs> Any other question? I think that's all for now. If that's all for now, then I'm going to have a... Uh, people that actually came late. Here yeah, we have all this stuff. We had all this before you guys came in. We were talking about this topic. And then we went into you selling yourself. I'm just running through. For people that just came in, who do you, I asked this question. And then I talked about what makes a good salesperson. Then I talked about who are you. Are you among this category? Which, which category are you falling in here? Are you the one that normally we just watch? You want to take charge of your work? You ask questions, Hello. commentaries. Hello. Or you make things happen in sensitive areas. Then uh, talk about uh, selling food. All this, all this before you guys came in. I was doing that. Yeah. Optimism. I talk about ambitious. Network. Yeah, we have number um, four and all that commitments. And then look at the look at the forbidden phrases I said before you guys came in. Some people that came very late. Look at the forbidden phrases. Here we have them. That's also run through. Forbidden phrases. Don't tell the client all these things. Look for a way to tell them no without saying it. Look for a way to tell them this without saying them. Very sensitive. And then, what makes people remember you? You have to consider that. What, do you, what is your point in this real estate business?
have to learn research, get you to learn more. At least read ends for one hour daily, but online. You cannot, you can, may not do it once, just wait 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the night. You can try it at least one hour in selling. These are the seven qualities of the top salespeople today. In summary, and all this I said was to help us to drive and become sales people, personalities. But one of the most important parts of this is learn to sell yourself. Start building a brand for yourself. Start acting like you are in charge. Be in charge truly. Take the, the bull by the uh, and then be real so more than other. Help get it working. And don't forget this is very sensitive. Selling yourself is very important. Many people actually sell product and services, but they've forgotten this part. And then I ended up with this part of what your, uh, how you improve your sales, communicate with clients, and I talk about bundle services, building them. I think many of us actually met me here and all that, listening and all that. And then we talk about advantage of social media, raise prices, and then here we are. I want to say thank you so much for your time. Uh, yes, a question? Oh, you outside, so let me take your question for I hand over to my brother, success. When you meet a client and the client is talking about how you have been, all these kind of things, yes, and you volunteer to help you, mm. what if you are not vast? Yeah. Yes. So what you do, take a form. What estate did you buy from, sir? I did that too. It happened to me. This one is me. Mm -hmm. So I told the client, the client was telling me that all those land, that please, I don't want to hear anything. Yes. Many of these stuff you have been saying have been there before you. You know when I bought land, there before that the final year was even making much noise. I have been there, and towards like a I said really, okay, what happened? He now gave me a name of the company. But the name of the estate was told me first. I said what's not the company? He now mentioned the name. I said where are they now? And uh, what happened then? He now told me that uh, they have never allocated him. That's why he's angry. That he's been bought, he has bought it for like four years now, but they have not allocated him. And I said, okay, uh, hold on, sir. Sorry to let's let's leave what I'm talking about now. Let's get to this. Let me fix this for you, sir. I can help you. He said, looking at me different. Really? Okay, I'll be glad you can you can do that for me. Then he took he gave me all this information for him. And it was one company that's very big company. And look at what happened. I took his name and every time I went to the company. And then when I went to the company, they told me the guy has not paid for survey. That they cannot give him allocation without survey. But uh, it was his consultant that did not communicate well to him. And even the consultant said, said, that useless guy, I don't even know where he is now. He's <laughs> forgotten about him. But look at what happened then. At the end of the day, I thought about the survey, but the survey was no longer the only old price again. It was not a new price. He would have paid uh, 150,000 naira, but he's not going to pay 450,000 naira. He was ready to pay. And he did pay, and they not gave him an allocation list that was going to be uh, given a uh, decision. Was it in March? Not this year, last uh, two years. I think last year, 2019. 2019 is last year, right? 2019. So they allocated him, I think that was in March, yes. So we fought that thing from uh, February, January, there about. So they were allocated from Liverpool. And I explained to the, the company, they added his name to the list. So everything was given to him, that particular um, March, that was the next <coughs> month. Yeah. He was glad. And he asked me, it's all like you, know, you know this business very well. How is it that I use less guy? So I said, I said, sorry. I said, people don't really understand some of these things. I'm not saying that the guy is bad. But some people don't really know real estate to the core. They are marketers. So I said, I told him that probably you met a marketer, not a consultant. So don't blame him. Sometimes it's information. And they have also been sending you mail to, to remind you about the survey, but nobody put you through. And then I said, thank you so much. He said, so how much do I pay for this? Uh, a free service and all that. Won't you take anything for transport and all that? You, you don't a good uh, some of me. Waiting now to check about twenty thousand yeah, cash. Okay, don't don't give you a check. You don't save your problems. Twenty k. And me, what happens to me? I needed the money too. I took it. I won't say thank you, right? No. Keep it in my pocket. It was nice. <laughs> I made money. Then it's okay. Uh, well, you were saying something the first time we made the other day. We never talked about the gate now. Well, I feel so like you is good to be giving me properties and uh, what you know I can actually buy to let me know. And even when they say he wanted to even buy more from the company, he said he needed me to be the consultant. What am I saying? You have to know how to manage them because sometimes when you are trying to solve a pain, you may gain their, 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 their trust. That's what happened to me. <laughs> All together. Yes. Any question? Yes, okay, your question. Um, please, I'm uh, if one wants to 
approach a client, maybe you have at somebody's office and you want to you know, discuss a real estate business with that person. Yes, sir. On appointment or without appointment? Uh, okay, without appointment. Then okay. how would I open the discussion? Because that is the real He didn't invite you. No. Okay, you just got into this office. Maybe you are marketing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, now you are going to first of all appreciate what he's doing. Okay. You appreciate his work. Let me go, instance. When you said that, I was trying to personalize what you just said to what happened to me at uh, Alaba. Okay. I took people out to go and market with uh, about three coasters. We went out to market in uh, 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 so I think we were one company like that. So when they all got that particular uh, place, we were going around. So we ended up a particular, company, a particular uh, woman, the guy shop that actually sells all these uh, shoes, clothes, and all that. Many, many things. Four, five, five clothes and shoes. Then I said, wow, nice shoes. So I started doing some pricing. I knew that these people are so big that they were looking at me like, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this people here? I started doing as if like the clothes. Like the clothes and took their card. See, they wouldn't have given me their card or number, though, their number. But I said, okay, this car said, really are. Ah. Oh my God, I won't even get married though. So very nice one. He said, they now won't be the one now, so you want to market me, himself. So we're all talking, talking, talking. I was with the lady and the guy. We're three. I can okay, remember we're three. Is it, uh, just, just thing was there. So we all went to that particular place. And then what we did, the talking and talking. He said, ah, this one, we're going to wear this clothes. What's going to the do? So we're going to be marketer. I said, no, we're not just uh, marketers. We came to give an awareness of real estate in uh, Nigeria. And that, he said, no, 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 I said, well, that is part of it. We also have other ones. And thank God we were that day with tools. We had the other one that had the estate in Enugu. So, and the Abia at that time. So, they were able to go through that stuff. And we got more calls for people that wanted Enugu than uh, the Lagos State. Abia, we got about two. So, the thing is, knowing how to manage these people, sometimes you have to be as if you want to become a client to them, to get them to become your client. Are we together? Yes. And so, the money going to an hotel. I, I was talking to one of my partners uh, today, uh, Mr. Abraham. And we're saying something. That how can you enter into a hotel? And you are just at the beginning of your hotel, saying you are knocking at the door. You get there. The door is open. And the hotel is the place you enter. It's made for everybody. But God is mentality. He's not knocking the door. The gate man came out again. What do you want? I close the gate. <laughs> I said, okay, who you want to see? Who wants to see manager? Who be you? So, whereas normally you have just entered straight and go to the front desk and then see the manager. How do you do it in, in this case? See what I did to my own, in my own marketing. I had to go straight into the reception. Then I went to go and inspect the hall. In fact, they took me to see the rooms. <laughs> Papa, I'm enjoying it. Then I said, okay, well, nice rooms, nice rooms. What is hall? What are the facilities? Does he have a projector? You're not seeing so serious. Sir. It's okay. Okay, well, um, give me your card and um, so I got the manager's card. Got to talk. He gave me his card. Then we talked. Later, I now recruited that guy. He didn't even ask because I came for one thing one time. We recruited him. He was not the one helping me to give any type of. He put it in the rooms. People come for to lodge. They have that stuff on a condition. I give him five percent, yeah. which we were doing. You understand? So then I go there and be friend to that place, but I recruited the manager of the hotel with wisdom. You understand? Get man too can be recruited too, because get man knows when a guy is going out. But if I give some things to the secretary, he may not give it to a guy. Sometimes. So if you give get man, get man will definitely has a way. He's one opening the gate. Say a guy, this phone, so may I give you some specifically. You understand? As of that, I give some kind of proposals with the drink. You can't reject it, sir. <laughs> Bring a drink to me, even though it's making no sense. I will take it because of the way it was packaged. Packaging is very important. So that's what I'm trying to communicate. <coughs> Sales can work in from you trying to be a client to somebody who will be your client. <laughs> you cannot strike, strike, or strike a deal. Yeah, are we together? And all that. Is there any question? I think that's all for now. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much, everyone that have actually been watching us, um, taking your time. Uh, we're going to be meeting again, as usual. We've always been like this every Friday. But I'm going to be handing over now to my, uh, is it my host? 
Yeah, so it's uh, su- the success. So have a great uh, time. Thank you so much. Thank you for you. I appreciate him, please.